This is one product that I've been following every step of the way. I feel like an expectant parent. I'm nervous, but more than that, I'm really excited because I think people are gonna love it. We're a company with a heritage, which to me means history with a future. I think the, the attraction of Mustang is about all of us being able to express themselves in the ultimate idea of freedom. It is a very important car for us. It's not, not many nameplates make it to 50 years old. It's a brand and a car that has a soul. Nobody ever had to give them the brief on what was the Mustang. A great car is a reflection of a great team. When you're redoing an icon like the Mustang, it's a combination of a great honor and extreme fear because you don't want to screw up an icon. It has power, it has speed, it has capability. The triple tail lines is something that I think is, is uniquely Mustang. The grill leans over and sort of really sort of lends itself to what Mustangs have been in the past. Underneath all this beautiful skin, there's some beautiful mechanicals as well. This is going to be a different Mustang. It's going to be a better driving machine. There have been many, many great sports cars from mainstream brands, but most of them never, ever impacted the base imagery of the company. I think that having this car, having it perform the way it performs, it gives a lift to everyone and all of the other vehicles that are in the market. It's about the hardware, but it's about the passion and the emotion. That's why I'm so excited about the new Mustang, because it represents all things that are good about Ford. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. Uh, I really enjoy these events and being able to talk to you about great Ford products and um, especially about Mustang. I just came from speaking to our investment bankers, um, a very important audience. That's uh, who loans us the money. And uh, as you can imagine, there's a lot of emotion about vehicles with investment bankers. Um, so I hope it's really great to talk to uh, an audience that actually understands what I'm saying. Um, and hopefully shares the passion about vehicles that, uh, that we on the Mustang team do and being able to share some of that with you tonight when uh, Dave and uh, Dave Parasek and Bob Fasetti get up and, and share a lot more. Uh, but I do get the honor of uh, opening it up. Uh, it's one of the perks of being the head of product development that you can kind of pick which speeches you get to do. And this is one I, I definitely wanted to do. Um, first off, uh, sixth generation Mustang. When we started this program four years ago, uh, you kind of saw all the video clips. Um, there's always pressure uh, when you're doing a Mustang. Uh, when you're doing one that's going to coincide with the 50th anniversary, there's even more pressure. And we just knew that at the end of the day, this needed to be the best Mustang that we had ever done in every respect. Um, and to do that, it finally meant nothing could be off the table. Uh, we had to build a better performance car absolutely retained our heritage, retained the Ford DNA, and most of all expanded on the Mustang DNA. Um, because th this car um, really is uh, the heart of our DNA, and particularly the performance DNA of Ford. Um, performance has always been part of, of our DNA at the company. It's allowed us to bring performance vehicles to the market. It's allowed us to leverage great platforms and great vehicles, uh, bringing the Fiesta ST, the Focus ST, Focus RS just recently announced, the Shelby GT350, and of course now the Ford GT. And the reason for that is, is innovation um, is, has always been at the heart of what we do. And of course with Mustang, with 50 years of legacy behind it, nine million vehicles on the road, no car in the Ford lineup shows our dedication to innovation, shows our dedication to performance like the Mustang does. 
So it's not so much about performance in, in, in just performance total, but it's also about innovation and how are we bringing that customer experience, that aspect of what touches your heart versus your head when we do something like a Mustang. And that's really driven from the very beginnings of the company. And, and I don't know if you know this story, but innovation performance racing is really at the heart of Ford Motor Company. A lot of people, a lot of companies will tell you it's in their DNA, it's in their history. Um, but for us, it even goes to two years before the company was started. So this is a picture of Sweepstakes Racer. It's a car Henry Ford developed after his first company, the Detroit Automobile Company, actually went bankrupt. And he built this to race against Alexander Winton, who at the time was the greatest racer in America, at a race out in Gross Point. Uh, he was a huge underdog. But a lot of Detroit's elite businessmen came to this race. And Sweepstakes won that race. And 18 months later, those same businessmen, through that connection through Henry Ford, seeing the performance of the sweepstakes racer, invested in a business, 18 months later, a company called Ford Motor Company was founded. So when we say performance is in our blood, racing is in our blood, um, it's very true. It was even there at our conception, 18 months before the founding of the company. So we still race and we still do performance cars for the same reason Henry Ford did it in 1901. Um, it proves out our products, it proves out our technologies against the very best in the world and improves people's lives through innovation. So that's what's always defined us as a company and through innovation we're changing the way the world moves. And when you race up against the best in the world it takes you to the ultimate limit. And I'm really proud to say that this year has been fantastic for us racing against the best in the world. Uh, we've been in four major races in 2015, uh, Rolex 24 at Daytona, uh, truck race, NASCAR truck race at Daytona, Xfinity race at Daytona, and of course the Daytona 500. And so far 2015 has started off four for four. So that's my expectation for the rest of the year. <laughs> that innovation goes directly into our vehicles. And so whether it's innovations in, in lightweighting technology, um, or for example here, the rapid expansion of our EcoBoost engines and fuel saving technology, as well as power. Uh, it's all about that aspect of innovation for us as a product development team to bring that into production, take it to performance, take it to racing, bring it back into production. And even into engines as small as our one liter EcoBoost engine, many of those technologies exist in that engine, which is the reason it's been a three year International Engine of the Year award winner, three years in a row. So we're, we're also, at this point in our plan, more global than we've ever been. And particularly when we talk about performance, we're serving customers in all of our markets, expanding faster as a company than we have in decades. And whether it's performance or providing solutions and connectivity, providing new mobility solu solutions, or leading the industry in advanced materials, our one Ford plan is delivering that across the globe. So, as you, as you know, uh, the new Mustang really shows all of the best aspects of what Ford Motor Company is right now. And it sets new benchmarks as a vehicle in performance and dynamics for the brand in handling steering control, enhanced ride comfort. And I certainly would love to go through all of those details, uh, whether it's the advanced technologies like hydroforming, laser welding, high strength steels, lightweight aluminum in the vehicle, hours and hours and hours that we spent on suspension geometries and steering feel. Um, but they won't let me talk about that because Dave Parasek and Bob Fassetti need something to talk about. But I do want to talk a little bit, um, maybe a little bit more about the emotional aspect of Mustang. And certainly for the Ford members in the room here, I think every one of us has an aspect of Mustang that's touched us. Um, there's, there's a lot of important vehicles for Ford Motor Company, certainly you know, we call the F-150 the crown jewels of the company, incredibly important product to us, uh, a, a product we have a lot of passion on as well. But Mustang, uh, of all of our vehicles, is really the heart and soul of the company. Um, for us, it inspires passion like no other car in the lineup. Uh, the look, the sound, the feel, the performance, the way that resonates with people, even if they've never driven one. And we like to say that aspect of Mustang 
is a little bit of Mustang is in every vehicle that we do. For me, um, it's made so many appearances in the broader media that it influenced me even before I started in the industry. Seeing Mustangs in film, seeing it in television, uh, seeing Steve McQueen in Bullet, and now in video games, having that same impact on so many people around the world. It's one of the reasons that I came to Ford Motor Company. So when you have a car that has 8.3 million fans, uh, amazingly, more than half of those fans live outside of the US. The world's most liked vehicle on Facebook. It's a lot to live up to, um, touching so many people and making sure that you do this next vehicle right. And fortunately, uh, the customers have responded and said we have done the vehicle right. Uh, sales in January up 124% over last year. Our best January sales of Mustang since 2007. Um, and I know our Camaro friends are here and, and we love you, but Mustang has outsold Camaro every month since its launch. So for me, also, Mustang has a very special place. Um, it was the very first new vehicle I ever bought, uh, an 88 white Mustang GT um, with really horrible looking red interior, but put that aside. Um, it was also the very first vehicle that was stolen out of my driveway, so <laughs> if you see an 88 white Mustang GT with a scratch on the spoiler that's mine, let me know. I still want it back. Um, but there's so many of us that have that type of story about Mustang, um, and which is why it's so important. It's why when we do a Mustang, uh, the great thing about Mustang, uh, I don't know if you've heard the quote, uh, the great thing about Mustang is everybody in Ford Monk, uh, Motor Company knows what a Mustang should be. Um, the bad thing about doing it, the next generation Ford Mustang is everybody in Ford Motor Company knows the Ford Mustang and knows what it should be and is more than willing to tell you. Um, but all of us have this story, which is why we're really um, so pleased to be able to share, share the details of that with you today. Um, so I hope you see how serious we are about Mustang, how serious we are about performance, how serious we are about innovation. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to update to, to you um, about was our focus on performance and how we're really looking at that business, growing and strengthening our performance vehicle lineup worldwide, focusing on delivering those vehicles and experiences that customers want globally. So we've set up uh, a new division, a new part of our business called Ford Performance, which leverages um, innovation in all the ways that our customers expect. It unifies our, unifies our previous Ford special vehicle team uh, here in the US, our Team RS in Europe, and the Ford Racing Team uh, to increase our engineering capabilities across the board for success both in the production vehicles and in racing. So this, this organization is actually going to be led uh, by Dave Parasek, who's going to be speaking to you, uh, who was the chief engineer of the all-new Mustang, but now he's been appointed director of global Ford performance. So congratulations, Dave. And so Dave's going to be bringing motorsport and performance car engineering together into the same stable, uh, helping create unique performance experiences for our customers, uh, appealing to those discerning enthusiasts who love that emotional, positive experience of driving, relish that opportunity to enjoy their driving capability in vehicles just like the Mustang. So uh, Dave's got a tremendous task at hand. He's, he's four for four since he took the job in racing, so uh, great start. I think he's... Uh, claiming he found a lucky penny, and that's the reason we're doing so well right now. Um, but we're really looking forward to that.